Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions kind of thing. Um, I've just got some new products here that I wanted to try out with you on camera. So I thought that that's what we would do. So I've already done my eyes. This is just um, the Tarte Toaster Palette. There is a video, or well, there will be a video on this up on my channel. So if you want to watch that, then... I don't know if it'll be up or before or after this, but anyway, let's jump into this, into this video. So the first thing that I have here is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. It says infused with glow nectar, brightening hydro complex. Um, so it just looks like this. This is a mini one. I got it in a little set. Um, I actually bought it for a giveaway, but I got intrigued. It had a highlighter in there that I wanted and it also had this, so... Um, there was one other primer in there, but I've put that one in a giveaway because I already own that. So, this is the, um, the thing that I took. It smells really nice, actually. Kind of smells like that Rimmel foundation that I, I really like. Oh, wow. Whoops, I put way too much. Okay, so it's actually, like, very similar consistency to the um, Benefit Professional. And you guys, well, I don't know if you guys know, but that was a huge favourite for so long. I used to be all about pore blurring and being matte and stuff, whereas now I feel like I'm a bit more into, like, glowy skin. Um, but I thought this one would be good because it's, um, what does it say? Blur and brighten. Okay. So I've got that on now. It feels very nice, but yeah, super, super similar to the Benefit Pole Fashion, which I really like. So that's, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, so this next thing I already own, uh, right, okay, so this is the Cosmetic CC Cream, I already have one in medium, but I bought one in light, which is, I think it's the shade down from it, so I bought one, hopefully closer to my, my actual skin tone, so I could actually wear this, like in public or whatever, because I actually really, really like this. What the hell? It looks darker than the other one. The other one's medium. And this one looks darker. Um, I'm so confused right now. I love this stuff so much, but what the hell is going on with this shade? You'd think light would be lighter than medium, but this almost looks, it looks darker than medium, so. So yeah, this is kind of a first impression, kind of not. It was meant to be a first impression for the shade, but I honestly feel like, like that is not light. I don't think it's coming up on camera just how dark it is. Like this looks darker than my tan foundations. I feel like once it's actually pressed into the skin though, it's not too bad. I mean, you can still see the difference between my neck and my face, but it's definitely better than when I first squirted it out of the bottle, so. So I might have to go one more down and go to fair. <laughs> anyway, that's why I bought a mini because I was like, oh well, you know, I'll try out the shade. Because it's a CC cream, so I feel like there isn't actually like a whole lot of shades. It's kind of like more pick your closest shade if that makes sense. But yeah, this honestly looks the same shade as the medium one, so I pretty much have two medium foundations now. Even when you look at them in the bottle, I guess, like, you can see that they are pretty much, they, like, literally look the exact same. So, anyway, it was meant to be light, but it didn't work out that way. The next two products aren't, um, first impressions, but I just don't have a new concealer or a new, um, under eye powder. The powder I'm trying out today is actually a loose powder, but it's a glowy one, so I don't want to chuck that under my eye because it's like more of like a full face powder, if you know what I mean. So I'm just quickly taking the Benefit um, Cakeless Concealer in shade 2, just for under my eyes and to highlight. I really like the way my eyes turned out today. I feel like my skin looks really nice. Super like just healthy and glowy looking, which is good. 
that primer seems to be working really well. And I really do like this foundation. So. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly set over that concealer just with my Fenty um, butter setting powder. Just because, like I said, I don't want to take that glowy one under my eyes. I feel like that would look a bit weird. I had my first TikTok video get like over 10,000 views, which I'm very happy about. Now I just need like 100,000 and then a million. <laughs> For the rest of my face, I have the Laura Mercier Translucent loose setting powder but this is the glow one i'm so excited for this this is um one of the things that sam bought me for valentine's day Whew, i've been eyeing this off for so long and then he took me into mecca and he's like choose something and I'm like, okay <laughs> so it's like a kind of goldy shimmery color it's so beautiful so this has obviously got a, just a bit of a glow to it it's kind of like a, a very subtle highlight your whole face. Oh, so excited to have this. I wanted to buy the mini first just to see like how I how I felt, but I feel like I knew I was gonna love it. But um, you know, seeing as Sam was like, oh, I'll buy you something, I was like, okay, I'll get the mini. Um, and if I can try it out, and if I like it, I will buy the full size. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, I just dropped it and it spilled onto my pants. Couldn't have happened with one of my like various full size powders that I'm never going to use up. It had to happen with this tiny little one. No, I feel like this is a lot of powder. Like, I don't, I think it's going to take me a while to go through that, to be honest. I reckon this will be a new favourite. It just looks so beautiful. Look at it. It makes you look so fresh and so glowy and just stunning. I'm obsessed with that. Yay! I'm so so happy. That looks so beautiful. And you could even like not like you could put this on on like a natural makeup day and not rock any highlighter and it'll just look so like glowy and beautiful. I love that. Thank you, Sammy. I love you. Okay, the next thing is was I don't know if you can still get this, but it was limited edition. Um, but this is the only bronzer I have that I haven't tried out yet. I got this one for Christmas and look how beautiful it is. I don't even want to touch it. It's a little gingerbread, um, the little gingerbread one. It's called the Too Faced Gingerbread Tan Spicy Bronzer. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh my god, I just tapped into it and look, all of these little like white spots came off on the brush. I'm kind of worried about that. I really, I get sad using limited edition stuff because I'm like, if I fall in love with this, it's gone forever. But honestly, let's be real. By the time I finish this bronzer, I'm sure I would have found something else, if you know what I mean. So, even if I do fall in love, it's all good. I have heaps of bronzers that I like. I actually really like this. It's kind of like, I feel like it pulls a little bit red. Like it kind of comes off a little bit. Like a red tone. But I don't mind. I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. I really actually do quite like Too Faced complexion products. Um, I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of their eyeshadows. But I love like the um, foundations, concealers, powders, bronzers, highlights. Like I feel like they do really, really good complexion products. Like I love their Milk Choc Soleil bronzer. I love the the Sweethearts bronzer. Um, I like their their Love Light highlighter. That's beautiful. Their Natural Face palette is like one of my favorite. One of my favorite. One of my well, yeah, one of my favorites. Um, what else do I like? I like the Born This Way concealer and foundation and powder. at all i'm sure there's other stuff i really like their hangover primer as well that's really really good okay so that's how the bronzer looks i actually really really like that bronzer it's beautiful so so nice okay the last complexion actually no never mind next thing we have to try out is the this is the tarte 
Amazonian clay highlighter in exposed highlight and it looks like this, it looks like a really really pretty shade. So it's actually pretty soft. But buildable. It's really pretty actually. I really like the way it looks. It's like not super super intense but it's still very nice. But yeah, you can I feel like you'd be able to build it up. And you could also wear your brush to intensify it. But I feel like it's nice for something a little bit more low-key. Don't get me wrong, I, s I feel like it's still very like in like it's intense, but it's just not like Jeffrey or Anastasia or Ofer intense. Like it's it's beautiful though. I really really like it. It's very glowy. Like it's very um kind of glow out in the sun and it hits it right and it glows if you know what I mean. I'm also gonna chuck some on my brow bone. Okay. Yeah, I feel like on the brow bone it's not that great. It's still there, but it's just like because it's not super intense, it doesn't show up as well. Like you kind of have to hit it in a certain light, which is fine. I don't mind. It still looks beautiful in my opinion. I think I'll put some on the inner corner too. Oh, oh my God! I just dropped it. I gotta do some. Lower lash mascara and eyeshadow too. It's beautiful on the inner corner. So nice. Okay. So <clears throat> for the lower lash line, I might just take a little bit of the cozy color out of this tight palette. That's not really relevant to this video, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on. This is just the Fenty Beauty full frontal mascara. And then I've got this um, Pixie Glow Mist to try out. I'm really excited actually. What's it say? All over face mist for a glowing, luminous and smooth complexion. Enhanced, oh no sorry, enriched with 21 natural oils plus propolis aloe vera and fruit extracts so you can use it before makeup after makeup or any time it says so. it's cool so it comes in this cute little bottle oh my god hang on sorry it's got the plastic on it just looks like this and then you can see like the oil sitting on the top so i'm just going to shake it up and then I don't love the smell, but I do the, like the way it makes my skin look, damn. It's beautiful. Like the smell's not bad or anything, it smells like um, like if you went to the salon, so it's like, it smells very like, skin care -y, I guess. But, wow, that leaves my skin looking so, so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, do my hair, then we'll come back and try out a new lip product. Um, yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so we're almost finished. Um, this next thing isn't a first impression to me, but I haven't actually talked about it on camera yet. So um, another thing that Sam bought me for Valentine's Day was the Glow Recipe Lip Pop um, Lip Balm in watermelon. It's weird that it doesn't say anywhere that it's watermelon. But anyway, so it looks like this, and this is so expensive for a lip balm. It is $34 or something crazy like that. But this is the best thing in the world. So it's a three in one. It's a scrub, balm, and tint. So when you first put it on, I don't know if you can see, but it has like, if you can see like those little darker bits. Let me see if it. No. No. Why would it focus? Well, anyway, actually, let me see if I can. Anyway, it's got these little darker bits and they are like the balm bit of it. I mean the 
um, scrub bit of it so when you first put it on it's a bit gritty and then when you like rub your lips together they like kind of melt down into a, a balm and then you I think they said you have to put three coats on for it to become a tint I am obsessed with this so you can see how it's added a nice color now this tastes amazing and this just leaves my lips feeling so good. I literally have used it every single day since I've got it. Oh my god, I'm just obsessed. This is going to be something that I definitely repurchase like over and over and over. I'm not too crazy about the colour just because it's very, very pink. But like it's something that you have to layer up to get the colour anyway. So it's not an issue to me. Anyway, the next thing that I'm going to put on my mouth is this Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I got another one in the shade Sweet Mouth. This is another new shade, I think. I've been loving the clear one in Gloss Lip Balm, but this is how this one looks. It's a little bit less pink than Fussy, I think. I don't have Fussy, but I've got um, the Diamond Milk one and Fenty Glow, I think it's called. So I'm gonna put this on. Stunning. I mean, obviously it's over the top of that tint, but so beautiful. This makes my lips look so juicy. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm honestly obsessed. I love everything today. Like, I really, really like the way my skin is looking today. I feel like I just am so glowy and so beautiful, and I'm just like literally obsessed. I feel like my hair's so flat though. Like, I need to give it some dimension or something. Um, I love everything that I tried. I'm obsessed with this powder. I really like the primer. I love the foundation. I already knew that I love the foundation. It was just more about the shade. The highlight is actually so beautiful. Like, as I said, it's not the most intense. So you're, if you're after something like super blinding, you won't get it with this, but this is so glowy and so beautiful. Um, what else did we try? The bronzer is so cute. I actually love it. I feel like it looks so, so nice. I'm so sad that it's limited edition, but as I said, this should last me forever. It smells so good too. I love gingerbread so much. It's my favourite. And I'm so impressed with this glow mist. I think it's beautiful. Oh yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, so I'm super impressed with everything I tried. I'm so happy this turned out so, so well. And I'm just, yeah, really happy. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!